Okay, it's Saturday, July 29th, 2023. It's 7.44 a.m., 83 degrees Fahrenheit already. Very humid. We're doing a tour today of the Skinker Devolver neighborhood. We're nine miles from the Gateway Arch. That's Wash U, Washington University in St. Louis right there. That's Brookings Hall. And right over here is Forest Park. So this whole area is a National Historic Landmark District. It's where the 1904 World's Fair was and the Summer Olympics in 1904, which coincided with it. So I'm gonna show you just a few of the highlights from Wash U. Everything I'm gonna show you is on the other side of this campus. Francis Olympic Field is named after David Francis, the only person to serve as mayor of St. Louis and then governor of Missouri. He did a lot of work bringing and preparing for the 1904 World's Fair. The Summer Olympics also coincided with it. Here's the Olympic rings. This is the field house. Wash U has hosted more presidential and vice presidential debates than any other institution. Five since 1992. In 1992, they hosted the first debate with three candidates, Bush, Clinton, and Ross Perot. In 2000, they had the third debate with Bush and Gore, a town hall format. In 2004, they had the second debate with Bush and Kerry, a town hall format. In 2008, they had the vice presidential debate with Biden and Sarah Palin, which drew a lot of interest because no one knew much about Palin. In 2016, they had the second debate between Trump and Hillary Clinton, another town hall format. In 1996, their slated debate, the first one, was canceled by the campaigns. McMillan Hall is where the site of the aeronautic concourse was at the 1904 World's Fair. Here's the statue of and quotes by George Washington, who the school is named after. The name was chosen because the charter passed on his birthday. So I'm going to mention just three people who went here. Most importantly, my dad. He went here to Wash U. He always says it looks a lot different now. It's built up a lot more. But one thing that was there is Brookings Hall. That was completed in 1902 in time for the World's Fair, and it was a administrative building for the World's Fair. Also, William Webster went there. He lived in Webster Groves. He's the only person who was head of the FBI and head of the CIA. He's the only person. He's from St. Louis. He went to Wash U here. And also Harold Ramis, who was the writer and or director for Caddyshack, Groundhog Day, as well as National Lampoon's Animal House which his time here at Wash U is based on some of those experiences. And he was also in Ghostbusters. He was an actor in that, Egon Spangler, in Ghostbusters. And I'll show you where his fraternity, it was also on the other side of this campus. That was Harold Ramis's fraternity right there. You see that Z, B, part of the B is missing in a T. So there's Forest Park. It's over 1,300 acres. It's huge. And these are some of the highlights from it.
The jewel box is a greenhouse that was built in 1936 and they have receptions here. Absolutely beautiful flowers. The World's Fair Pavilion was built with proceeds from the 1904 World's Fair just a few years later. The History Museum currently has a Soccer City exhibit about St. Louis. The boathouse is pretty much right in the middle of Forest Park. Now those are just some of the things. There's also a couple of golf courses and much more. Judy Rankin played golf here. She's from St. Louis. She was the ladies PGA player of the year in 1976 and 1977. She's from St. Louis. She played at the golf course, the one down further. We are in the northwest corner of Forest Park right now. Also, Jimmy Connors played tennis at that golf and tennis center. And over on the other side of Forest Park, the east side, that's where the medical campus is. That's where Tina Turner worked in the maternity ward with the moms and babies. And it's also where Carl and Gertie Corey worked. She won the Nobel Prize in physiology or medicine in 1947, the Corey Crater on the moon is named after her. She was an expert, her and her husband, in biochemistry. And they discovered glycogen, the enzyme that breaks it down. For anybody who runs and eats pasta, well, they know about all of that stuff. That's on the other side of Forest Park, the medical campus. Tina Turner worked at Barnes Jewish Hospital. And Carl and Gertie Corey, as well as Tina Turner, as well as Harold Ramis, who I mentioned, they all have stars on the St. Louis Walk of Fame, which is where we'll be heading. Okay, here's a Caldi's Coffee and the Skinker Metrolink stop. As we're walking along Skinker here, this neighborhood grew a lot after the 1904 World's Fair. Skinker is very, very busy. A lot of Wash U students around here. Okay, right here on the corner of Skinker and Waterman is Grace United Methodist Church. This was originally built in 1892 and they actually moved it here in 1913 took it down and put it back together again here in 1913 grace united methodist church
It was in the Central West End before. Here's Snarf's sandwiches. Okay, now we're at Skinker in Washington. This is the New Coat Brilliant Church of God. It used to be called the Del Mar Baptist Church. Built in 1917. Okay, and the back side of it here, the education wing, that was built in 1927. Okay, we made our way up here to Skinker and Del Mar. So here's the Del Mar Loop. Now, I've done a video on that separately. Right down there is the St. Louis County and City boundary line, just about a block up that way. So we're in the city now. This is where the Del Mar Loop heads into the city here. Everything on this right side is in the neighborhood that we are doing here, the Skinker to Bolivar neighborhood. That's the Moonrise Hotel right over there across the street. Let's get this artwork here. This is an art supply store. And we got the stars on the St. Louis Walk of Fame here, as I mentioned earlier. Cedric the Entertainer was the first one that extended into the city. Yeah, Cedric the Entertainer was the first one in the city portion. There are a few behind him there, but they were inducted after him. So there's a few that I passed by before I got to this one. There's the pageant over there across the street. Now here's that pie pizza on Del Mar. That's Obama's favorite. He had the owners come to the White House. He got that pizza while he was in St. Louis and then he had the owners come and they uh, cooked for him at the White House. That this location's closed. And here's K Bop, that's Korean. And here's Vale's Brothers Fried Chicken. As we're continuing on down Delmar here. Good morning. Here we got the jewelry repair. We got more shops along here. There's a lot of salons and boutiques for hair and nails along here. This is a stop for the famous loop trolley. Okay, we're at the corner of De Bolivar and Del Mar, and this is Metro offices here.
Hey, these are these apartments here on Washington. A lot of apartments and a lot of college kids in the area, of course. There's an animal hospital. Oh, Skinker to Bolivar, that's the neighborhood we're in. Okay, this is St. Rock School here on Waterman. That started in 1912, the school. And the church was built in 1922. The parish started in 1911. Sadly, it's slated for closure. They're seeing what they can try, trying to do something about it, but they're getting merged with another one. The school is staying open for now. Last I've heard, I don't think a decision has been made on that fully yet. This is part of the school here. St. Rock School. And again the church is down here. This was built in 1922. Hey, this is where that parish started in 1911, right here. And next to that is Joe's Cafe. So these are some more apartments here on Waterman that this neighborhood is known for. Here's a Fields Foods grocery store right here on De Bolivar between Waterman and Pershing. And this is the Forest Park De Bolivar Metro Link here at on De Bolivar and Forest Park Parkway. And there's the Missouri History Museum there at Forest Park right here at the corner of De Bolivar and Lindell. And Forest Park across the way. So these are the mansions here on Lindell overlooking Forest Park.
and are absolutely beautiful. Stunning, stunning. In Forest Park, one of the golf courses, right across the way. Okay, and we are back here at Wash U. Right up the way, there's Brookings Hall, which is where we started this tour. 
And that's our tour of the Skinker Devolver neighborhood. Did the best I could again. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.